to our reports and then go into the inventory again and look at the inventory worksheet close in the hamburger so this gives us like our list of inventory the quantity on hand which could be useful to do a physical count now note that as you're doing a perpetual inventory system you're tracking the inventory units real time that doesn't mean you don't need to do a physical count though because obviously if if the physical count comes out to 18 units and your system says 25 you're not going to say oh well my system's right you know the fit my eyeballs are wrong that would be like listen to a politician or something oh you're right my eyeballs are wrong you know no you got to say well no i guess the <laughs> we lost some something happened here so we're gonna have to do a physical count <laughs> and then write it down in accordance with the physical count and if you might want to have someone doing a physical count that doesn't actually have the units on hand if you're assigning this to some random person to count them so that they can't just not count anything and just say hey yeah you got 25 units right you just you want them to count it separately <laughs> so so that they don't know how many are there and then you can have more assurance that possibly uh it's right and you would think that would, there would be there would be shrinkage spoilage and and so on in the physical count and if there were then we'd have to make an adjustment now if i go to the first tab over here and i'm in if i if i look at the sales tab and then I'm in my products and services. Then we can see the items that have inventory because they're going to have a quantity on hand. So there's our quantity items. And if we needed to adjust them to the physical count, I can hit the drop down here and basically uh, adjust, make an adjustment. So I can say quantity adjustment. And then I could go in here and, and make my adjustment to the physical amount as we saw in a prior presentation with that type of form. So the new quantity would be whatever, 18. And then we could say, okay, the rest, there was a shrinkage, a loss, something happened for seven units. We got to figure out what that is, but we got to write it down to the physical amount at this point in time.